Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have seen that how we can create a subscription through our C Sharp code. So in this video, I'll explain the webhooks. So when a user has created a subscription and we redirect the user to the PayPal and the user has approved, then how would our application know that the user has subscribed to the subscription and whenever the recurring payment will occur, how would our application know that? So for this, webhooks comes into the picture. So what are webhooks? So webhooks are nothing uh, but you know uh, a way to communicate between two applications. So the PayPal will uh, send a, you know a web request to our application uh, that something has happened. So th that's mean that we are hooking the uh, PayPal. Uh, to send uh, the web request or uh, you know to send to send request to our application uh, that something has hap happened so whenever some events occur on the PayPal then uh, PayPal will uh, send request to our application okay so for this uh, we must have uh, you know some API configured so for this I have created a new uh, project a webhook project and I have created the webhook controller and in the webhook controller I have created a post method which is uh, you know it this is its URI API checkout webhook and uh, currently I am just returning the JSON with a success okay so uh, now we need to configure it on our app uh, on the PayPal account okay so so what would be this the URL uh, so this is running uh, here so this is localhost and the URL would be this one okay okay let me send it from let me run it and uh, send it from the postman so we can see that everything is oops I should run the this one let me run it okay now it's running let me send up a, a sample you know a request that is running and it is a post send could not send request oh it should be this one okay so we are getting it so now whenever some event has occurred uh, we will receive this uh, request from the PayPal so currently we have sent from the postman this should come from the PayPal okay so n for this we need to configure it on the PayPal so let's go to the PayPal and uh, copy it and go to the uh, apps and credentials your application so this is our application let me open technical voice and here we need to uh, add a webhook and this is our URL okay and for this currently I'm selecting the all events okay and I need to hit on the save button but it will give the error that it should be the HTTPS okay let me say that it is HTTPS so your must contain HTTPS okay and now if I save it HTTPS port 443 and let's say that the port is 443 now we cannot send requests from internet to our local host okay so yes for example if you have your application running uh, let's say uh, in my case technical voice and uh, let me save it valid URL HTTPS technical voice dot com and then this one this is a valid URL 
ok now it saves now it is saving so webhook added successfully so now whenever some event has occurred the PayPal will send request to the HTTPS technical voice.com and onto this URL so that's okay if, if you host your application to some URL and you can add that URL from there but what about when we are developing you know our thing that how would we know that everything is working fine the code that we write in the API is working fine okay so for this uh, we have a tool that will I will explain in the next video that how we can test the request uh, that uh, you know that has been uh, sent from the PayPal for in our local environment okay so now let's create a subscription as and see that if there any event occur uh, let me go to the home and webhook events and uh, let me select the application so our technical voice and all event types and submit so currently we don't have let me see that we do not have any event because we have not configured the URL but now we have configured so let me create something and see that if the event appeared there okay so let me run the application again uh, this time this application and let me type 4 and enter and so the subscription is created on the PayPal and now PayPal should send an event uh, with the name that subscription created the whatever we will see in the next video and it should uh, appear on the uh, you know here that we can see that the PayPal has sent the request so let me submit again it, it takes them some time so be with me for some seconds okay so it takes some time to appear it uh, on the PayPal so I just cut a video but uh, finally it appeared so it says that delivery status is pending and uh, if I open it you can see that it is sending this request to technicalvoice.com okay but we don't have any URL uh, a valid URL available for uh, this so in the next video we will see that how we can test this on the local host okay thanks bye bye